Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, it's always a joy to come and sit before you and your Word, knowing that you have a desire for us to know you, to know your ways, to know about your Son, Jesus. And I pray today as we study your Word again in the book of Esther that you will teach us by your Holy Spirit those things that you want us to know and then fill us with your Spirit that we may be able to live them out before others. We'll be careful to give you the thanks in your Son Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Fair Young Virgin's Salt. And it's taken from the book of Esther, chapter 2 and verse 2. As we continue our story, King Ahasuerus has banished Queen Vashti from the throne, and he is lonely. He begins to remember Queen Vashti and what was done to her. And now, because the Persian law cannot be changed, he cannot have her again. In chapter 2 and verse 2 of the book of Esther, his servants make an interesting suggestion concerning fair young virgins to solve his problem. We read, Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. If we use our imaginations, we might be able to picture poor old King Ahasuerus without his king queen. He probably looked sad, forlorn, and perhaps sighed a lot. He may have performed his duties with little vigor, and everyone around him could tell that he was quite lonely. In whatever manner he acted, it caused this response. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him. Even the servants before him saw the way he was. Often others will notice our behavior before we ourselves do. The verse continues with the servant's suggestion. Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. Because Ahasuerus desired re and related to loneliness, the servants thought it would be a good idea to fill that loneliness with another woman. They asked him to let or allow and permit there to be a search for fair young virgins throughout his kingdom with the idea of finding one that would fill his need. Of course, this would require the king's permission. But with the feelings he was having, it shouldn't be too hard to convince him this would be a good idea. There's an interesting scripture in the book of Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 13, where we read, for it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. This is perhaps what occurred within Ahasuerus' heart. God was working both in the will and in the to-do parts of Ahasuerus. Along our study, we have been reminded that God is at work behind the scenes and governing over all of it. And now is this desire to will within a hashers, and the servants have the answer to do, and let us be careful to note of his or God's good pleasure. Though it seems a very natural occurrence for there to be fair young virgins sought for the king, God Almighty is weaving these things into his master plan. If he can do so with the hashers, can he not do the same with us? Next time, we will see further instructions pertaining to these young women. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name. 